Hello everyone and welcome to the Urban Village DIY Fall Workshop. My name is Jonathan and I am one of the program coordinators here at Urban Village. I want you to join me today while we create some of our fall light jars. So, you've got your list of things that you need. Hopefully you've already gone and grabbed them. Don't forget your tasty beverage. Join me and let's get down to it. All right, everyone, so grab your jar, and then you're gonna want to grab one of your containers. Uh, pick the paint that you're gonna wanna use. Uh, since this is fall, I think that I'm gonna go with a little bit of orange. Probably see what happens if I mix just a little bit of yellow with it. that a stir didn't really do much so oh well but so when I was doing my tests I actually loved the texture of the sponge that I got so I'm gonna put this on that you can also just put your paint directly onto the um, sponge if yours is that big and then just kind of Pat it around. Now I also did get some stickers, some fall stickers for um, the jar. So what you'll want to do is you'll grab one of these off. Go ahead and place that wherever you want on the jar that's going to look nice to you. It's all a visual preference for yourself. I'm just going to do one. And then you can just paint over that. If you are using the sponge, I found that just lightly tapping or heavily tap tapping will kind of darken up the layer. Now if you did want to use, just, sorry about that, just paintbrush. That's possible as well too. As you can see, it just has a different type of texture. And with any painting, depending on the direction or how you swipe your brush, you'll get your different designs. Uh, it's kind of gonna be a little bit hard on that. Um, but forward, sideways, it all just can change how you swipe your brush. All right, so now that I've kind of got it, I want to give it a look. Kind of feel like I want this a little bit darker. You don't want it too dark, because remember, we are going to have lights coming out of this. So just a little bit more. All righty. Now you'll just want to set that aside to dry. Now you can make any improvements on this that you want as you go. It is pretty simple to either wipe the paint off before it dries if you don't like it. And if you do end up liking it, you can also purchase some gloss to spray over it to help that paint stick to that. Um, so we're gonna see what happens if I can get one of these up. All right, hopefully that helped. Um, I got a little bit here. That still kind of looks like a leaf, uh, probably the wrong little shape to take off. But when you add your light, that then becomes just a bigger spot 